Hey everyone and welcome back to Roadside Coder and welcome to the ninth video of our modern stack tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to start with MongoDB. Yes, we are going to connect MongoDB to our backend, that is our Node.js server. And we are going to create our first cluster and successfully start our database. So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is go to Google and type MongoDB. And just click on this mongodb.com link and click on sign in if you already have an account or click on try free or start free if you want to create an account. So I'm gonna go on and click on sign in and sign in with Google because I already have an account. All right, here we go, we have successfully logged in. Your interface might look a little bit different because I already have an app up and running over here. So what you're going to do, just go to over here and you're gonna see a option of new project. So click on new project. And here you can give the name to your project. So I'm gonna give it mern dash note zipper and click on next. And it's gonna ask what are the members that are going to manage this project it's just going to be me so it's my one of the alternate email ids and click on create project and here we go we have successfully created our project now the first step what we need to do is we have to build a cluster or a cloud provider as you can see over here choose your cloud provider region and specs so we have to build our cluster so click over here and now we are going to choose our plan so we are going to use a free plan so we're going to go over here and create a cluster here we go. So all of these options, you don't need to touch all of these. Just leave them as it is and create your cluster. Just remember the name of your cluster. So it's cluster zero or you can give some custom name, but just let's just leave them as it is. So create cluster. So it has started creating our cluster. It says new cluster take between one to three minutes to provision. All right, so in the time that cluster is being created, let's just set up our database. So let's go over here, database access, and we are going to add a new database user. Okay, so now we, are need, we need to give our username and password for our database. So I'm gonna go over here and give roadside coder. And for the password, let's, let me just give it something. Okay, you need to remember this password and click on add user. There we go, our database user has been successfully added. Now let's create our network access. Network access is from the places where your MongoDB database will be accessed from. So go to add IP address. If you want uh, your MongoDB database to be accessed from anywhere, so just click on allow access from anywhere. That way anyone can request the data from your MongoDB database from anywhere in the world. But if you just want this computer to have an access, so click on add current IP address. For now, I'm gonna leave it to allow access from anywhere. Click on there and click on confirm. There we go. We have successfully added our IP address as well. Meanwhile, our cluster is being processed. I'm gonna go and install Mongoose in our project. So go to your backend, open the terminal and type npm install Mongoose. Make sure you're in the root directory of your folder and press enter. So what is Mongoose? So Mongoose basically provides us queries and everything to for us to connect our ExpressJS application to MongoDB or our Node.js application to MongoDB. Okay, here we go. It has successfully been installed. Now let's type npm start and start our server. Let's see if it has created yet. Okay, no, let me refresh it. There we go. Our cluster has successfully been created. Now click on connect. It's gonna ask what are you what do you want to connect? I'm gonna select connect your application. And our application is in Node.js, so it's already selected. Okay, so this is what we need to copy from over here, or you can click on include full driver code example, and it's going to give you a full code that you can copy in your project to connect to the database. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna take this Mongo URI. This is what we want. So I'm just gonna go ahead, copy it up, and go to my project, and in the .env file. I'm going to create another variable called mongo underscore URI and I'm going to paste it over here just like that. And keep this in mind, 
in place of this password you need to enter your password so just replace this with your password for example if your password is Piyush so you just need to write like this all right great so we have successfully added our mongo uri in our dot env now let's go back to our server actually we're going to create another folder in our backend called config where our database file will go so inside of it i'm going to create a new file db.js all right now let's start typing first of all we need to import mongoose so const mongoose require mongoose okay then we're going to create a function to connect our database so connect db let's just give it that name and it's going to be an asynchronous function now inside of it i'm gonna add a try catch so inside of the try we're gonna write const con equals await we're gonna request mongoose to connect to our database now now the, for the first parameter we're gonna add our mongo uri so process dot env dot mongo underscore uri right and for the second parameter we're gonna add some properties for example first one is use great now if we request this we are going to successfully connect to our mongodb so let's just console log this let's say mongo db connected and i'm gonna give whatever we receive from over there in the connection variable okay but if any error occurs we're gonna console log the error great it should work now so let's export this so module dot exports connect db all right great now let's call this in our server file so in our server file we're just going to go just below this and type connect db over here const equals require dot slash config slash db there we go it should work now let's see our console server started let's see if it's connect to mongodb or not yes mongodb connected and we get an object okay so we don't want an object what we want is connection dot host sorry dot con, con dot connection dot host All right, now let's see. There we go, MongoDB connected with this cluster. All right, great, we have successfully connected our MongoDB with our backend application. Now in our next video, we are going to start our user authentication. Yes, we are going to finally start our login and sign up functionality in our backend. We are going to first create the functionality in our backend and then the video after that, we are going to apply that functionality into our front end. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, just go to youtube.com slash roadside coder, just like that. And click on the subscribe button. Also, if you haven't yet accessed our playlist, go to playlist and you can see Modern Stack tutor Project Tutorial over here and just save this playlist by clicking over here. It has all of the videos. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.